The candidates for the legislative by-election for Taichung's 2nd Electoral District took part in a televised debate Thursday night. The DPP and KMT candidates traded barbs over their qualifications and achievements in previous legislative terms. Things even took a personal turn with DPP candidate Lin Jingyi calling out her KMT opponent's family history of corruption. The KMT candidate Yan Kuan Heng responded that Lin should stick to practicing medicine. A televised debate for Taichung's 2nd Electoral District by election was held Thursday, with the candidates of both major parties locked in a heated exchange. Our, our home. They are not a practice ground for paratroopers. It's not a place for a candidate to fall from the skies during election and leave right after. A lawmaker's job is to go to the parliament to inquire about national policy. It's for the benefit of the people and not for their own personal benefit, to benefit their own private companies or to find loopholes for their properties. Yang Kuan Tan presented himself as a local candidate, while Lin Jingyi criticized him as acting for his extended family's interests. She also questioned Yen's contributions to infrastructure projects in the area. In the past, I have always been committed to transportation infrastructure, projects for dual railway tracks, railway elevation projects, the Hemei Bridge, the Xiwei Bridge, the Caohu Interchange on Provincial Highway 74, the Jiujiang Interchange on National Freeway 6, and so on. Allow me to remind you about something regarding what you just mentioned. The dual track projects for the coastline was in fact approved in 2017 as part of the forward-looking infrastructure development program. Back then, I was one of the lawmakers defending this policy, whereas another lawmaker was trying to block it. It also applies to the pushing for the construction of the blue and green lines of the Taichung Metro. I was defending this policy for the city's residents. I'd like to ask, what were you doing then? The candidates also exchanged some backhanded compliments. Having such a talented individual leave the medical world would be a loss for medicine. Dr. Lin has a silver tongue. The ten iconic statements she's made in the past really show that she has a bright future as a pundit. His roots at the local level are even deeper than his party, thanks to his local organizations. Things like finding ways to combine local and grassroots forces, and how to make use of and administer resources. These characteristics make him incomparable with anyone in his party. Besides Ling and Yen, there are three other candidates vying for the legislative seat. Stock Party Taiwan candidate Zhang Zhongchun and Independents Li Jinglian and Li Shen Han. Which candidate will get the seat? All will be known on January 9th.